Yeah. So good afternoon, dear students. Today is the 18th of October, 2023. We continue with our lecture. Today's lectures on aptitude. What do you mean by aptitude? Point. Here the master is going to do that. Grab the aptitude. Grab the aptitude. Grab Natural ability to do something. Okay. So it is a skill to acquire a certain ability. Okay. To acquire a certain ability. So aptitude is a skill to acquire a certain ability through practice and training. Okay. So it requires practice and training. That is what is aptitude. Okay. So what do we understand by aptitude? It is a skill to perform a certain ability, to acquire certain ability through practice and training. So basically now we have to see what kind of an aptitude is required for the civil services. Now today you all are going to check your aptitude, whether are you really fit for preparing for this exam or not. We put the problem. So you know that you are not fit for the civil services. So, increasing emphasis on aptitude because aptitude will create a positive example for the society. Aptitude creates a positive. Now, aptitude word is derived from aptos. Okay, aptos, which means fit for or fitted for, suited for, fitted for. Okay. So, one person is fit for or suited for. We say certain person is fit for something. Another person is fit for another thing. Yes or no? Yeah. So aptitude is defined as a natural or inherent talent. So it is a natural or inherent talent. And now, this talent is there within you. You need to work on it. You need to develop it. Okay. Which you may not realize. To acquire a certain skill... Natural again to acquire to acquire a certain skill or ability to acquire a certain skill or ability in the future through appropriate in the future through appropriate training. Okay. Through appropriate training. Got it? Did you understand the definition of aptitude, all of you? So basically, it is a natural talent or inherent, which you may learn, okay, to acquire a certain skill or ability in the future problem. So by training, you can practice, okay? Like now, uh, the more you practice a particular, like reading, then you, you become a master of reading skill. The more you practice mathematics, you become more efficient and proficient in mathematics. Yes or no? So it can be both Mental and physical. So aptitude can have mental and physical. So what is the success ratio of aptitude? If you have a good aptitude for a certain thing, what is what is it going to give you? It's going to give you success. Yes or no? How? Because it will lead you to learn those skills faster than others. Yes or no? Correct or no? Okay. Now, Agastya Sen, you know, Upamanyu Chatterjee in his novel says that most young men in this country, no need to write it. So most young men in this country don't have aptitude for doing anything. In search of a career, they keep trying and something clicks. I am one of them and I got selected five years. All preparing for IAS, they don't have aptitude for anything. 
didn't understand what I said. That's what he said, not I. He said, I agree with him. Okay. So are you all following what I said? Hmm? So first thing, there is a natural tendency. Lata, look at the board. Don't be in confusion. Natural tendency. So what is natural tendency? What do you mean by natural tendency? What do you mean by natural tendency? Natural tendency. DNA Madhya Aidi. So Tumja DNA Madhya Aika civil service banala. Some of the Mikai Bolte, Mikai Prashna Vicharla, the Tumcha DNA Madhya Aika, civil service wala. Huh? Online students. How you can say that it is there in your DNA to become a civil servant? No, no, I don't know what to do. I do <laughs> so that means, for example, now if you take language acquisition, <laughs> you know, when a child is small, if you take a child from a Marathi family to Japan, what is it going to learn? It will it be able to learn? Yes, it will be able to learn. Naturally. Correct or no? Because it hears the language over and over again and it gets the this thing. So as a child, when an individual is exposed to a particular language, he just grabs that. Yes or no? All of any any child, right? So language is not something which is very easy to learn. But as a child, because it is a blank slate, people learn it at the early stage. Yes or no? They learn it at with their children. All of us have learned language, basic language at the early age, okay, and able to use it. So this inherent capacity is called aptitude. That means it is naturally though. Summon me what I said. Did all of you understand what I said? Amisha, you understood. So this is a natural ability. That means language acquisition right from childhood is a natural tendency among all of us to acquire. Okay. So now obviously you might not be proficient. Okay. Acquiring language is one thing. Being proficient, now though, supposing though you are coming from uh, a Marathi background or you are studying or a Hindi background or whichever background or whatever is your mother tongue at home, but then you might not necessarily be proficient in that. Yes or no? Uh, you might not necessarily be proficient in that because to be proficient, you have to work. You have to develop that skill. Yes or no? So you may have a natural tendency towards that, but you might not be proficient towards it. Okay? So many people basically become successful because of the attitude. That means if you work on your attitude, what is naturally there within you, you are automatically successful. Okay. They give you an example of Virinda Seva. Now Virinda Seva has a natural batting aptitude. Natural, naturally, it comes natural to him. He does not have to work. That's that, that's called a natural way. That means it is inherent in him. Other people have to work to develop technique. I'm giving an example of cricket or any other example you can take. Whichever person is naturally suited towards that. Yes or no? Okay. But supposing now, even if you don't have naturally with learning, with motivation, correct or no? Or with positive attitude and with environmental support, you can develop. Did you understand the difference? So some people have a natural aptitude. 
Now, may or may not, I don't know whether you have a natural aptitude to become a civil servant. It may be there, may not be there. I don't know. You have to ask yourself the question, okay? I'm telling you, but you may able to do it if you have the proper motivation, if you have the support or if it comes from within you. Yes or no? So you have to ask yourself, whether are you motivated? Are you motivated? Hmm? What you are doing to be motivated? Five hours, if you are studying, you're, that means you are motivated to study. Okay. I try to study more, but focus studies are higher than you. Okay, Lata. Okay, good. So I hope you all understood. That means any person who has a natural aptitude can automatically succeed. Okay. But if you don't have a natural aptitude, then you have to work towards it. It is not, it, it may not be difficult, but you have to work towards it. That means you may not naturally be suited for civil services. We, now we are talking civil service because we are, this is the topic with regard to civil service. Okay. That's why we are talking. Others, if you want doctor, engineer or whatever other subject, then accordingly you may or may not be naturally fit for that. Yes or no? Okay. Now, there is a difference between skills, abilities and aptitude. Yes or no? Are they the same? So we have to understand difference between these three things. What are skills? What are abilities? What are aptitudes? So the difference is only of time. Now, supposing if you have learned to ride a bike, Obviously, you know it, so it's a past skill. You don't need to work on it. It's automatically there. You have already learned it. So that is a past skill. Ability is what you're able to do right now. Okay? And aptitude is future. Did you follow? It is just a difference of time. Skills which you have already learned in the past, you have uh, progressed over it and you have, made a, you have become proficient in that. Okay? So when you practice a particular skill, like if you practice reading skill, you will master the art of reading. Okay, if you practice writing skill, you will master the art of writing. Okay, now you have to see. So whichever skill you have developed, accordingly that skill, there are certain skills you each of you may be proficient in, undoubtedly. There are certain subjects where you may be very good at, or you may be knowing at the back of your hand. Yes or no? So that is the skill which you develop. Or there are certain trade like cooking or any other kind of thing that you, or dress or, you know, embroidery or anything or any other activity you may be doing that you may be skillful at. You're understanding what I'm saying. Then there is an ability which you are able to do right now. Presently, what you are able to do. And aptitude refers to the future. Am I clear? Skills, aptitude, ability, all of you. Yes. Now, there is a very interesting statement. A winner is someone who recognizes, no need to write, just listen. A winner is someone who recognizes his God-given talents, works his tail off to develop them into skills, and uses the skills to accomplish his goals. That means you have to recognize your talent first. That means that is your aptitude. Understood? Then you have to work them off. Okay? Work the still out to develop them into skills. And then finally those skills will accomplish your goals. Am I clear? Okay? So what does it mean to say a person is a skillful civil servant? Who will be for a skillful civil servant? How will you categorize this with regard to skills, ability, and aptitude of a civil servant? If you understood this, explain this in terms of civil service. Who will you call a skillful civil servant? Who will call an able civil servant? And who will you call an aptitude? What does it mean to say when, when I say he, is a, he or she is a skillful civil servant? Okay. Or if someone has states that the individual has the ability to become a civil servant. Or someone says they have the aptitude. Now, you have to see whether you have the aptitude or no. That's why I'm saying I'm asking you the question. What do you understand? Hmm? 
नहीं समझ में चलो जल्दी से जल्दी जवाब दो टेल मी हाउ इज द पर्सन कॉल्ड स्किलफुल Who will you call a skillful civil servant? According to you, who is a skillful civil servant? ये ऑनलाइन वाले चुप बैठते हैं, उनको पूछते हैं। Who is a skillful civil servant? Arshidhi. बाकी ये कौन है? Umang, you didn't come in the lecture today. Yes, sir. Ah, so you got scared and you sat down. No, 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 sir, no, sir. I got not got scared, sir. Same. I thought you got scared. No sir, no sir. Tomorrow I will be in class. Sir. Tomorrow lecture is online. You uh, will be in class. Oh. I will be in class. Oh, okay. Ah, <laughs> bol. A skillful civil servant is one who does his job perfectly. Who will you call a skill? Because it's in the past. That means he's already a civil servant. He's successful. He's doing it his job perfectly. That is called a skillful civil servant. All whatever the properties, whatever the qualities are required for a civil servant, the value is there that he already has understood. Like now we praise, like in Thane we we used to praise Chandra Shekhar, uh, commissioner, former commissioner of uh, Thane, or Chobe. So these were the former or T N Session. Why we call them skillful civil servant? Do you understand T N Session, former election commissioner? Why do we call him a skillful civil servant? Or Khairnar? Why do we call him a skill servant? Sunai ke nahi ye naam, ha? Huh? So why do we call them skillful? Or uh, you know Lande? Why do we call him a skillful civil civil servant? You understand the reason why we call them skillful civil servant? उनके नाम क्यों लिए जाते? Because already they have fulfilled, they have already done. They are done there. They are doing their job perfectly according to the requirement. That's why they are skilled civil servants. Understood? Now, if I say ability, which means whether you have the ability, okay? Now to become a civil servant, if someone says that an individual has the ability to become a civil servant, means what? You have to possess. mental and physical traits samajh mein aaya aapko that means now supposing for an ips there is a criteria you need 165 cm and above correct or no that means the physical the chest has to be so much otherwise you cannot become an ips you are understanding what i am trying to tell you okay so according to the medical examiner board i am trying to tell you physically but that doesn't mean they don't qualify mentally so mentally i mean to say for other post mentally what was required you need a particular intellectual level if you don't have that intellectual level obviously then you cannot become a skilled civil servant samajh mein aaya so that's what upsc wants to see isliye unhone ye dala कि आप लोग के अंदर है क्या स्किल सिविल सर्वेंट बनने आप समझ रहे व्हाई दे हैव पुट दिस टॉपिक इनटू दिस पेपर यू अंडरस्टूड व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू टेल यू सो इफ यू हैव द एबिलिटी दैट मींस यू विल पोजेस दोस पर्टिकुलर फिजिकल एंड मेंटल क्वालिटीज टू क्वालिफाई ना आई हैव सीन मेनी स्टूडेंट्स दे डोंट हैव इंटेलेक्चुअल ट्रेट व्हाट डू आई मीन बाय इंटेलेक्चुअल ट्रेट नाउ they don't have the necessary qualities to understand certain things that means they lack they cannot be civil servants kuch samajh aa raha hai kya bol raha hu there are many students like that nahi samjhe so that means even if you even if they learn they may try it's difficult it's not impossible they can try but the intellectual level which is required for this exam if you don't have like supposing now if you don't have an intellectual level for becoming not everybody can become a doctor or an engineer yes or no it's a fact so not everyone can become because you require a particular trait in to become a doctor or an engineer 
you need to require a particular ability to learn maybe biology all whatever is they connected or you may need to learn mathematics and physics unless you have that it will be difficult you're following what i'm doing everyone has a different ability to learn different subjects yes or no all can learn all subjects is it possible no you can answer everybody has different ability they are good in certain some other subjects they may be weak yes or no so based on that also we choose our career line yes or no so same way this is what the to have an ability to become a civil servant you need to process aaj aap log dekho aapke andar hai kya फिजिकल मेंटल आपके अंदर है ये क्वालिटी खुद को जांच सब आपको पता चल गया सच में आप क्या कर रहे समझ रहे हैं क्या बिकॉज आई हैव सीन मेनी स्टूडेंट्स व्हेन दे राइट आंसर्स फ्रॉम द आंसर्स वी कम टू नो वेदर सच स्टूडेंट्स कैन रियली बी अ सिविल सर्वेंट और नो योर आंसर इज योर रिपोर्ट कार्ड It proves whether you can be. But that means whether you understand or you don't understand. Your okay, answer se pata chalte. Nahi samjha? Kya samjha? Ah. So today, all check yourself as we will go through this chapter. You examine yourself and see. You really have aptitude or no? Otherwise, change the field. I'm not joking. Seriously, change the field. Not to discourage you, because otherwise you will be wasting a lot of your time. I'll be very frank and blunt. Because many students waste many years preparing without realizing are they suited or not suited. They don't look into this. ये सबसे बड़ी गलती होती है. so if you are not ready not that you may you may not be suited at the beginning but if you prepare you work hard obviously you will but if you are not ready to work then better you look for something else then you are wasting your time so today i want you to see whether you are there or no or you are wasting your time no classes can make you ias okay no professor can make you ias it is up to you if you do, are not motivated nobody can make you let me be very clear following or not following so my words may sound very harsh but they are the truth okay they are the truth so unless you examine yourself and question yourself yes do i have it am i doing it am i doing justice then you should prepare otherwise you are wasting your time because you are now at a age where you can do lot of things explore and go and go become better i will give you in the course of this lecture many examples i had many students like that who were very good but they never got selected not that they were not good people they were good students but they probably the reason there were reasons for that so you all should not land up in those categories in those category of students who had ability but could not do it so there are some students who have ability who are skilled yet they don't get selected so jab aap taiyari kar rahe ho aapko barabar se matlab you should be careful because you are investing time you are investing money understood Otherwise, you are coming here just to warm the benches. So don't do that. You follow what I say, and there they are sitting at home to warm themselves. Following or not following what I am saying? Okay. So now aptitude. When we say aptitude to become a civil servant, that means he has cap capacity to develop those traits which are required to become a successful civil servant. अभी आप लोग ने वो एप्टीट्यूड चेक किया नहीं है एक्चुअली यू नो दसवीं के बाद एप्टीट्यूड का टेस्ट होता है आपको पता है बहुत लोग बहुत पेरेंट्स अपने बच्चों के एप्टीट्यूड का टेस्ट कराते हैं आपने सुना है क्या सुना है नॉर्मली फिर वो एप्टीट्यूड वाले बोलते हैं ये करो साइंस करो ऐसा करो वैसा करो ये सो नो बेस्ड ऑन दैट टेस्ट साइकोलॉजिकल टेस्ट द क्वेश्चन एयर इज गिवन टू यू एंड दे ट्राई टू सी नाउ आई डोंट नो मेनी ऑफ देम आर सक्सेसफुल इट डिपेंड्स I, I would not like to comment on that, but I'm telling you that there are tests like that which test your aptitude. Yes or no? Okay. So appropriate training. So even if you don't have natural tendency, if you get the appropriate training, then you can become a good civil servant. You follow what I say?
So aptitude is converted into a skill. How can aptitude be converted into a skill? How can we convert aptitude into a skill? Only through training. Okay. So when aptitude is converted into a skill through training is given to the person. It is through civil service exam, which is held every year by the UPSC. Okay. So UPSC certifies whether you have the aptitude or not. You, UPSC is the certifying body to, to say that you are suited for the civil service. Firm. Did you follow what I said now? So that is what the UPSC does. That is what the U, work of the UPSC. So UPSC and then after that we go to the last one. Yes or no? And then finally on the field. So UPSC is the aptitude certifying body. Okay. So through training, you will get the, and Lavasma, you will get the ability. And finally, you will become. You understood. That's why UPSC has put this chapter here, because students don't understand this. So that they should not waste that much time. Because the whole process of the exam is one whole year. You're following what I'm saying. So that is why UPSC has in introduced, according to the Second Administrative Reforms Commission, the recommendation given, this has been added. Ethics, the chapter, the second ARC report, ke, according to the second ARC report, that's why they have put this. Because of the lack of ethical values and the downgrading of the level of the civil service. So we are seeing candidates coming with very, very low aptitude from the past few years. Means compared to the students who are coming at an earlier level, abhi, jo level abhi, abhi hai, that's not up to that mark at all. There are many reasons for that. Obviously, now you will not become internet and mobile generation. So that's the reason. That is one of the biggest reasons. There are various reasons which have caused to the lack of those things. So what the report was saying is saying that the they lack. So the commission's recommendations were try to either, that's why they gave various reports that try to hire students at an earlier age so that we can train them earlier. Okay. And we can mold them into proper civil, reduce the age. You follow what I'm saying? So various kinds of uh, recommendations were given. But anyway, they have not uh, adapted those recommendations. Are you following what I'm saying? Okay. Now there are types of aptitudes. Physical and mental. So if you have to learn a language, what kind of aptitude does it become? Is it a physical or a mental aptitude? So to learn a language, we don't require, it is a mental aptitude. Yes. Does anybody's height, weight matter to learn a language? Absolutely not. Okay. Now, for becoming an IPS officer, I already told you that they, you do require a physical. Yes or no? You do require. All the railway traffic service, IRTS, and all these other services do require the height criteria. So, obviously, it requires physical. Okay? So, physical. So, that means not only mental capacity, but also physical capacity is required. So, thus, aptitude implies prediction about individual's potentialities for future. That means quickness or aptness to succeed in that particular field okay, or activity if he acquires that ability. So it is not knowledge. Aptitude is not knowledge. It is understanding, learned or acquired abilities. Following or no? Now there are certain recognized, commonly recognized aptitudes. We are going to see a list of 10 recognized aptitudes. Okay. First is general learning capacity. Commonly, commonly recognized aptitudes. Pella hai general learning capacity. Do you all have a general learning capacity? How you can say yes? I'm going to test for you.
जनरल लर्निंग कैपेसिटी ओके वे विल कम टू इट वर्बल एप्टीट्यूड यू नो द मीनिंग ऑफ वर्बल एप्टीट्यूड नॉट स्पीकिंग नॉट जस्ट स्पीकिंग यू हैव टू नो द मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्ड सो मेनी थिंग्स not only pronunciation there are so many things verbal means all those skills which come under verbal speaking reading writing okay so all those things come under verbal aptitude so do you have the verbal aptitude huh third numerical aptitude numerical aptitude i don't have to tell you the meaning you already know the meaning सी सैट में जो न्यूमेरिकल एप्टीट्यूड रीजनिंग जनरल मेंटल एबिलिटी दो रीजनिंग ऑल्सो डिफरेंट एंड न्यूमेरिकल मेज बींग एबल टू हैंडल नंबर ओके फोर्थ इज फॉर्म परसेप्शन स्पेसिस एंड डिफरेंसेस ओके फिफ्थ इज रीजनिंग एप्टीट्यूड Reasoning aptitude. Okay. Six is visual memory. Do you have a good visual memory? Could be much more. Creativity. Visual memory. Its meaning is that you can see something good. 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 आप लोग आप लोग कल ही पैसेज पढ़ गया आप लोग भूल गए कि क्या है पैसेज के अंदर तो विजन मेमोरी कहां से क्वेश्चन उसमें से ही उठा है तो विजन मेमोरी कहां से हो यू अंडरस्टूड नाउ क्रिएटिविटी That means you should be able to associate association with language learning aptitude. Language learning aptitude. Hmm? Ninth, finger dexterity. Finger dexterity. That means skill oriented. How skilled you are with your whatever you do. Finger dexterity means basically skill oriented. Are you are you able to learn particular? Have the ability to learn any skills? Okay, skill oriented ability. Okay. Nine of them are there. Did you follow? Does the UPSC examine all this? Yes. Sir, what is ninth one? finger dexterity finger dexterity skill oriented ability does the upsc examine all these years your general learning capacity yes. yes are you able to interconnect between different subjects aap log nahi kar pa rahe you understand interlinking between different subjects aapko pata hai syllabus aise kyu draft kiya hai बोलिए मुझे ये सब क्यों पढ़ना पड़ता है हिस्ट्री जोग्राफी पॉलिटी साइंस आप लोग शाही मध्य महत्ति ना सर थोड़ा सा महत्ति हिस्ट्री महत्ति जोग्राफी महत्ति साइंस पर माइक यूज़ करें। सो यू नीड टू बी एबल टू इंटरकनेक्ट ऑल दोस थिंग्स। इफ यू लर्न द हिस्ट्री यू नीड टू नो द जोग्राफी यू नीड टू नो द सोसाइटी यू नीड टू नो द कल्चर यू नीड टू नो द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बिकॉज़ यू आर गोइंग टू बी द एप्लिकेंट ऑफ़ द लॉ यू आर गोइंग टू � so as a civil servant each of the services what work they do you have to first know that 
ये यूपीएससी देखना चाहते कि आपके अंदर ये है कि नहीं और यही जांच करती है वो एग्जाम के थ्रू समझ में आ रहा है इसलिए बहुत से लाखों स्टूडेंट भरते हैं उन लाखों में से हजार क्यों सिलेक्ट होते यही कारण है क्योंकि बाकी लोग को ये बात समझ में नहीं आती जिनको समझ में आते वो सिलेक्ट हो जाते उनको भी समझ में नहीं आते तो भी वो सिलेक्ट हो जाते उनको भी पता नहीं है बट आई एम टेलिंग यू टूडे वॉट इट इज वॉट यूपीएस इज लुकिंग एट सो दे ट्राई टू टेस्ट ऑल दीज थिंग्स थ्रू द पेपर वॉट दे सेट बिफोर यू दे ट्राई टू सी डू यू पोजेस दिस काइंड ऑफ ट्रेड नाउ यू अंडरस्टूड सो यू नीड टू पोजेस दिस काइंड ऑफ ट्रेड टू गेट सिलेक्टेड अदरवाइज बिकॉज यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू डू ऑन सर्विस जॉब like for example for ifs they need to be able to learn languages because you will be posted anywhere in the world in different mission different embassies so that point of time you have to be able to learn the languages if you are not you are not able good to learn languages then how you going to learn them? you understood now what i am trying to tell you so this is exactly what upsc is trying to do okay so they are trying to test the aptitude now is aptitude and intelligence one and the same thing no aptitude and intelligence is not the same thing okay so it's specific type of intelligence there are various types of intelligence kisi ko pata hai kya online students what are the types of intelligence Hmm. What are the various kinds of intelligence? Okay. Social, shawni, or social, verbal, emotional. What are the types of intelligence? That is only one emotional intelligence. so anyway you'll find out homework okay yeah har siddhi gave some linguistic logical musical i want howard and gardner's theory of intelligence there are 10 different kinds of intelligence theek hai na aap log jo bhi bol rahe ho aap log aapke man se bol rahe ho i want exactly what they have said physical creative intelligence verbal intelligence spiritual intelligence sexual intelligence social intelligence theek hai na aise type hai maine aapko bataya abhi baaki aap log find out understood what i said so don't give your own intelligence <laughs> okay <laughs> so now aptitude and attitude when they combine it is a deadly combination yes or no yes we have studied about attitude correct or no yes. so aptitude plus attitude is equal to attitude samajh mein aaya iska matlab kya arth hai लता एप्टीट्यूड प्लस एटीट्यूड इज इक्वल टू एटीट्यूड मंजे का है 
What is that? If a person has a particular attitude, he has a right attitude, it will lead to attitude. What does it mean? So what does it mean that if you have the right aptitude and the right attitude, it will lead to your success? Simple words. Altitude ka matlab height hota hai na? To aap ka progress hoga na? You all better work on English language. All of you. The language is not, uh, it's quite uh, very poor performance. So please work on the language, okay? You all need to understand the meanings. Okay, so work on the language, okay? It's possible to develop yourself. So try to work on the language. Listen to more and more uh, debates or watch news okay and try to interact and learn okay? understand meaning now interest and aptitude what are interest and aptitude so interest means the things that you like to do regardless of your skill you may or may not be skilled at it, but you like to do it. It's your interest. Hobby. Okay, it's your interest. Okay, so you may have interest, but then you may not be skilled at it. Okay, or you may not have the aptitude for that. You're understanding what I'm trying to tell you. So there is a difference between aptitude and interest. Okay, aptitude and interest. So how do you realize your aptitude? To get a successful career, you need to realize your aptitude. Okay, many people enter into the wrong field. Then they regret You understood what I said. So uh, that's why, as I said, now even if you may have the aptitude, but if you are uh, this thing is wrong, now I'll give you an example. Is to nikal hai. Tum hi this. Tum se ek group hai, common group hai na. Ah, parat banas. The internet is slowing. 
वायफाय कनेक्टेड आहे वायफाय एवढंच चालू सरांना पाठवू ना मी देखो सर ने भेजा कि नहीं नहीं भेजा सांगित ऑलरेडी सर मी नाही नाही Did you get it? I am sharing the screen. Hmm. Work. Sorry. Read the answer loudly, somebody. तुम लोग ज्वाइन करने की क्या जरूरत है अच्छा तुम लोग को दिखेगा नहीं ना बट सर सेंड इट मे बी टू यूर ना नॉट इट सेंड इट तुम जो आवाज वॉली है करा वॉइस ही करा डिस्कनेक्ट युअर ऑडियो सर पाठ सर सेंट इट आई थिंक सो स्टार्ट रीडिंग समबड़ी वन ऑफ यू रीड नाउ पढ़ पा रहे हो क्या क्या दिख सिंह वाज नॉट जस्ट आल्सो पॉलिटिकल वो नेशनलिज्म Bhagat Singh was not just a revolutionary but also a political thinker and 
who advanced rationalism, armed revolution, and creation of more, uh, for more just and equitable society. Elaborate. 250 words. Bhagat Singh was born during a period of two decisive phases of extremism of Lal Bal Pal, Gandhian phase of non-violence. Bhagat Singh was an atheist and a Marxist, which was reflected in his books, Why I'm an Atheist, and the Jail Notebooks and other writings. Huh? Online students? Hello? Yes, sir. Uh, tell me, what is wrong with this answer? Is it right or wrong? Let me tell you, this is a history optional student who has been preparing for the last five years. Who said yes, sir? Hello? Hey, hey, hey. No, I am. What is the answer? 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 So even if you write answer, doesn't mean your answer is right. Answer is wrong. Question is asking something, answer is on some other direction. And he is a history optional student preparing for the last five years, who has given three attempts to the UPSC. Jamie, I want to tell you. It is not asking about its character. It is asking about was not just a but political thinker. You have to analyze Bhagat Singh from his political thought as who advocated rationalism. So where all did he advocate? That's what you answer. Now he's writing Bhagat Singh was born during a period of two decisive phases, which, which is wrong itself because Bhagat Singh was not born during a period of extremism and he's put Gandhian phase. Gandhian was not an extremism. So, you can write paper for writing paper. It's not necessary that your answer is right. And you can write it for 5 years. And you can write it for your history of student. Which means, what is lacking, he did not understand the question he said. That's why I told her to work on the language. You understood the reason now. If you don't understand the question, and that too, he is he is uh, graduated from St. Xavier's College. So if a student from St. Xavier's College can do this, what about you? And that too, he is the son of a civil servant. I can give you a number of examples. So unless you are able to, what I said, what is the exact aptitude you have to pick up, understand. UPSC wants to see whether you have that understanding on. So it doesn't mean if you are a son of a civil servant or this, you can still crack the exam. No, not necessary. That's why I proved to you the answer. Last week, he sent me this answer. Then I fired him left, right and said. Understood. Because if you write such an answer, you are not going to score marks because the answer is wrong. It is gone another direction. So, you think you have a big answer. Hello? Yes, sir. 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 Yes,
So anyway, aptitude identification. So you all know there are formal informal tests. UPSC conducts uh, aptitude identification by the CSAT and your general studies. Yes or no? It looks at your comprehension, interpersonal skill, logical reasoning. You know all that things. Yes or no? <clears throat> Do you all know what all UPSC checks of yours? Kaise aap ka aptitude decide karte hai UPSC? Kaise karte hai UPSC? Aptitude kaise? How does the UPSC find out about your aptitude? Huh? Online students? Hello. Hmm? How UPSC finds out about Ablok and the cap you don't achieve? How do you find UPSC? ऑनलाइन शुरू देखते हैं आप आपने कितना आप हैं क्या करते हो आप लोग क्या पढ़ते हो ऑनलाइन स्टूडेंट्स एनीबडी कैन आंसर आई नो नोबडी विल बी एबल टू गिव द आंसर तागर यू थिंक दैट नाइन पॉइंट्स एनी ऑफ यू हैज यूपीएससी सिलेबस जरा निकालो देखो छोटे भी इसका पिक निकालो और डालो ग्रुप पे और मुझे बताओ यूपीएससी क्या बोल रही है आप लोग बोलते हैं आपको पता है नहीं पढ़ो जरा वो क्या लिखा है What is written? Read loudly. But now they will not. They will not be able to hear. Photo card and photo. Join one photo. Amishala photo. Amishala photo. She is online. She will share. आप लोग बोलते हैं आपको पता है UPSC क्या पूछती है अभी मैं बता दूँ. मैं अलग हमेशा शेयर कर ला सुबह कर मलाइकिता पढ़ना शुरू करो कोई तो हमेशा ये शेयर This is a screen or the yeah. start reading loudly. Wait, Umang. Yes, sir. Uh, start reading. What UPSC has given? आप लोगों को मालूम है ना UPSC? Start reading from the top. Main, main, okay, okay, okay. The main examination is intended to assess the overall intellectual. To assess. Ah, uh, to assess overall. Intellectual traits and depth of intellectual trait. T R A I. And depth of understanding candidates rather than merely the range of their information and memories. Of course. What is UPSC is given? ये पढ़ा है आप लोग ने कभी? हाँ? So UPSC is looking for those particular intellectual traits, whether you have or don't have, and the depth of understanding. What kind of understanding you have? That's what UPSC is trying to see. Only then they are going to select you. Just by you possessing information and memory, what I showed you answer, UPSC is not going to select you. 
यू अंडरस्टैंड मोहित समझ लो कि नहीं सो सागर यू सेड इट इज नॉट डेड नो यू आई शोड यू व्हाट यूपीएससी से फर्दर रीड कंटिन्यू द नेचर एंड स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ क्वेश्चंस इन द जनरल स्टडीज पेपर पेपर वन a paper 2 to paper 5 will be such that a well educated person will be able to answer ha uh, further a uh, able to answer them without any specialized study the uh, that question the study paper is supposed to be based on general understanding you don't need to be a phd or ma or msc or mcom understand that's not what is required that you can do specialization in your subject but here a common common sense a common understanding which is required that is what upsc is looking for further the question will be such as to test candidates general awareness of varieties of subject awareness. which will yeah. have ruko 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 dodo mat okay sir rajesh kaise hai aap lela tham zara ha candidates general awareness of what why why पढ़ो पढ़ो अभी पढ़ो अभी पढ़ो विच विल हैव रेवलेंस फॉर अ करियर इन फॉर करियर इन सिविल सर्विसेज सो जनरल अवेयरनेस ऑफ वैरायटी ऑफ सब्जेक्ट्स व्हिच विल हैव रेलेवेंस ऑल द सब्जेक्ट्स दैट यूपीएससी हैज पुट हैज रेलेवेंस फॉर यू एज अ सिविल सर्वेंट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड यूपीएससी पागल नहीं अभी ये बात आपको समझना है यही बात यूपीएससी आपसे निकाल के लेना चाहते हैं कि आपको ये समझ रहा है कि नहीं समझ समझ रहे क्वेश्चन जब वो तैयार करती है तो उस बेसिस पे तैयार करती है तो आप कितने इंटेलिजेंट हो यूपीएससी को देखना नहीं सो इवन अ पर्सन हु इज अ एवरेज स्टूडेंट आल्सो कैन क्वालिफाई की अंडरस्टैंड दिस समझ लग का ही आती है continue the questions are likely to test the candidates basic understanding of all basic relevant understanding yahi problem hai aap log ko basic hi nahi aa raha hai wahi upsc dekh raha hai upsc jo general studies ka jo paper hota hai jo jaise maine kal pucha aap log ko you are not able to answer the from the ncert the answer that goes to show basic understanding is not you understood now continue and ability to analyze and take view on conflicting socio economic goals objective ah, so and demand socio economic goals objectives and demands tell me hmm what are the conflicting socio economic goals objectives and demands उमंग विशाखा नो बडी नो वैष्णवी क्वालिटी में कहां तक पड़ा है क्वालिटी चालू हो गया ना सर ने पढ़ा है ना तो कहां तक पढ़ा है सो यू अलर्ट गिव मी द आंसर कॉन्फ्लिक्टिंग सोशल पुट अ क्वेश्चन मार्क एंड फाइंड आउट कंटिन्यू the last line read the candidate must give relevant meaningful and succinct answers succinct answers not succinct it is succinct succinct means precise your pronunciation succinct it is okay uman succinct yes sir yeah 
अभी ये समझ नहीं में आपको यूपीसी क्या बोल रही है अभी आप लोग को कुछ समझ में आ रहा है ये एप्टीट्यूड आपका टेस्ट कर रही है थ्रू ऑल द न्यूमेरिकल जनरल मेंटल लर्निंग कैपेसिटी दैट्स व्हाट यूपीएससी समझ में आया कुछ अभी इफ यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड दिस यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू राइट आंसर नाउ विल यू बी एबल टू प्रिपेयर तो ऑल योर प्रिपरेशन एंड आंसर राइटिंग इज इन अनदर डायरेक्शन दैट्स व्हाई सेड द कैंडिडेट रोट रॉन्ग रेलेवेंट meaningful succinct means to the point precise hmm did you all follow now that means you need to have general aptitude capacity for the foundational values okay you have to have physical aptitude obviously height age upsc has requirement of a particular age you require the height according for the ips then the mental aptitude you should have general aptitude for learning इंटरपर्सनल स्किल्स इंक्लूडिंग कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स दैट्स वाई यूपीएससी ने बोला ये चाहिए यू फॉलो ये सो नो लॉजिकल रीजनिंग एनालिटिकल एबिलिटी डिसीजन मेकिंग जनरल मेंटल एबिलिटी बेसिक न्यूमरेसी डेटा इंटरप्रिटेशन अभी आप लोग देखो आपके अंदर ये हेक्सर है Huh? You understood or not understood? What I say. So let us look at the foundational values for civil services. You all already know what are values. Yes or no? Your beliefs become your thoughts. Your thoughts become your words. Your words become your actions. Your actions become your habits. your habits become your values your values becomes your destiny mahatma gandhi you understood what i said so gandhi mahatma gandhi said your beliefs become your thoughts your thoughts become your words your words become your actions your actions become your habits your habits become your values your values become your destiny so when you write foundational values that means you first need to know what are values there are various values social values religious values Yes or no? Organizational values, ethical values. So we have already seen what is the importance of values. Hmm? So in the civil service, there are something called as end-oriented values. So UPSC wants to see whether you have those values. There are something which is called end-oriented and means-oriented values, which are the means to the end, and there are some which are end, end result, end values. Okay. So what are the end values and what are the means values? ये आप लोग ढूंढ के मुझे बताओ। हम्म? What are the end oriented values for the civil service? And what are the means oriented values? What are the end values? क्या एंड और वैल्यूज हो सकते हैं अभी आप लोग सिविल सर्वेंट बनना चाहते हो तो आपको क्या लगता है क्या एंड और वैल्यूज है मनी पावर प्रेस्टीज रिस्पेक्ट अरे डॉक्टर को भी रिस्पेक्ट होता है ना तो क्या ये सिविल सर्वेंट बनने के लिए क्या जरूरत है सब एवरीबॉडी हैज रिस्पेक्ट पीपल देन यू शुड ज्वाइन एनजीओ यू शुड डू सोशल वर्क दैट विल बी द मोस्ट सेटिस्फाइंग वर्क
What are the end or values? Local local sign that's in Oh. How will you bring that about? What are the values? What do require? What does it require to bring the welfare? <laughs> Execution of the you're close to the answer, but not very close. Oh, English not be required. Yeah, Marathi not be required. No, scan it for me. What are poster? Marathi not be required. No, what is that written? What is that written? That is what is the answer. Understood? Civil servant is supposed to uphold the values of the preamble. If you don't know that, then what are you preparing? So what are the values in the preamble? That is called the end-oriented values. Civil servant is supposed to uphold social economic justice. Why jo unne conflicting social economic demands jo bola tha UPSC ne. Ab samajh rahe hain aap log unko? Local tube checker. <coughs> this is what it expects a civil servant to do. That is called the end oriented values. So every civil servant is supposed to uphold justice, liberty, equality, fraternity. I think you all have studied that. You all followed or not followed? Hmm? Any doubt? Hmm? So tomorrow we will see the values for civil services. Now, answer you all have written or not? Write the answer. Have you answer written? Have you? No, your topic has not been one. Value for civil services. That will you have to prepare. It is correct.
you have taken out from the book, na? So it is right only. Ustaka tum kaat le na, to barabar is because you are directly copied and made. So it will not be wrong. Understood, good I'm saying. Unless you write without seeing, then only if you have copied from book office. Yes. Just a moment. Attitude also can be changed. It's correct. We have to give an example. So my bullet points. Good. So only the girls are studying, the other boys are not studying at all. Huh? So handwriting is coming here. Current paper made space to come here. They, they divide the page. 150 words is only one and a half page. So you will finish less than 50 words. You have to work on it. So it is handwriting, but at least space kami kami kar rahe hain. So I have written the answer what I told you just now. Answer declare ki nahi abhi. Sir, ni the question diya, which I said. for ethics just you read that book is more than enough. You don't require any side. Current affairs and this book is more than enough. But you require side. But then you will not get now. Nah, that's only the PDF. Thodi, the poster back. What I sent you, then you can read that on the PDF for now. But you won't get like that. Separate book you won't. Kiva J notes of the Jalokan characters with the Baba. UPSC from after you can care. There are many ethics they have written, prepared, and you will read that. Ovi Persakya. So tomorrow we will do values for civil services. And we'll complete all the values which are required. So you'll read on that topic. So I will follow or no what I said? Yes. What I have told you. So you have to try to work on whatever you have discovered. Now I'll give you a certain intellectual standards which are required. Okay. That means we need a certain level of intellect while preparing. Okay. So what is the intellectual standard which is required? So it is basically the intellectual standards help us to assess the quality of your thinking. So as UPSC has mentioned, yes or no, they have mentioned that certain traits are required. Okay. So what traits they are being able to think critically? Obviously, you know that you have to think critically, right? 
So necessitates a thorough command. So what are these standards? So there are certain standards. There are nine standards. First is okay. Clarity, accuracy, precision. Okay. Relevance. Depth, breadth, logic. Okay. Significance and fairness. So these are the nine standards, basically intellectual standard, or you can say traits which UPSC is looking for. Clarity means what? That means, can you elaborate? Can you illustrate? Can you give an example? That shows that you have clarity. If you're unable to do that, that means there's lack of clarity. Accuracy means what? It should be true without distortion, without error. Okay. So how can we check that? How can we find out if it is true? How could we verify or test whatever is being said? So by giving particular examples. Okay. Then precision. That means to the necessary level of detail. Precise to the point. Succinct as the UPSC has mentioned. So not beating around the bush. That means you need to be very specific. Okay. You need to be very specific. Then relevance. That means, is it relevant to the matter at hand? Are you speaking? Like it said, relevant and succinct answers. Meaningful, relevant and succinct. That means it should be relevant, not beating, speaking something else. Question is asked about CST, you are writing about Copoli. Understood <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> you understood what I said? Okay. Then depth. That means, are you able to understand the complexity of the relationships? What factors are making? How deep understanding is there? Breadth. Multiple viewpoints, panoramic viewpoints. Are you able to look at a topic from various dimensions? Okay, various perspective, logic. Okay, if there is no contradiction in your answer, each of the parts when you write, they should make sense together. It should not contradict. Okay, significance. That means it should focus on important things. Okay, not trivial matters. And whether is it justifiable or is it only your self-serving purpose or for the greater good? Did you follow what I said all these nine points? These are the intellectual traits which UPSC is trying to see. So in your answer also, this should come out. Fairness, it should be fair. Na? Justified. That means self -serve. It should be like based on the values of the uh, social justice. Okay. Social economic justice. Significant manje kutla this is significant to the time. You are, are you able to connect with the current events? Focusing on important things. Significant means important. Not just uh, using unwanted things. Just say now the answer he wrote, it was unimportant or other details. Instead of focusing on important things. Like he gave about the birth, where he was born. Further on he wrote where he was educated, which is not asked in the question. So that is unimportant. You understand? So if you are not able to write the important things from the unimportant, you will not score marks. So even if you write answer does not mean you are going to get selected. You understand this thing very clearly. Did you follow what I said? Yes or no? So how do we develop these intellectual traits that tomorrow we will see? So read on integrity, impartiality, non-partisanship. and objectivity. Integrity, non-partisanship, impartiality, neutrality, objectivity, dedication to public service. Empathy, and compassion towards weaker sections. So these are all the values which are required. So we are going to see this tomorrow. Did you all follow what I said now?
No, empathy was the last, I think so. Dedication to public service. Empathy and compassion towards weaker section. Empathy and compassion. Empathy and compassion towards weaker section. Hmm? And tolerance. Tolerance towards the weaker section. There is difference between compassion and tolerance. Okay. So tolerance towards weaker sections. Followed? Got all the points? So these are the things in uh, 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 Kartike and other points will be given. This is from different source. Okay. This is not from Kartike. Whatever I have taught you is not there in Kartike. You will not get it anyway. Did you follow what I said? Any doubt now? Any query? Sir, what you have written in this nine point significance of quality? Sorry? Sir, nine point ka hai, sir. Hey, intellectual standards, standards madhe, nine point ka hai. Fairness. Hey, Fairness. Fairness, fair. That means to be just, to be fair, to be just at all times. Got it, Umang? Yes, sir. Okay. Any other doubt? Any other query? You all want to ask me? Somebody is asking something. M. Karthi ke ne zina. More than. Online students, any doubt? Huh? Oh, I have already told you about the So, what is it? Okay. Okay. So the values you have to do is so there are some professionalism in public service which is mentioned in this book so you all can see so after completing this topic tomorrow so you all write the answer and bring. Did you all follow what I said? Attitude ka question jo hai, uska answer likho. All of you. So tomorrow I'll teach you a bit of the public service values and bureaucracy. Public service values and bureaucracy, okay? And this topic, what we have done. Yes, kai, has to kai tu, huh? Okay, so any other doubts now? I think we can stop the I hope you have understood the intellectual traits. Yes. So now you'll go home and you'll examine yourself after you write in. Hey. And <laughs>
हाँ तभी आप लोग चेक करो घर पे जाके पढ़ो देखो वापस से क्या क्या बोला है रीड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड फॉलो डॉन हो वॉट आई से ओके सो डू दैट एंड इवन इफ यू डोंट हैव देन यू कैन ट्राई परसिवियर ऑल थिंग्स आर पॉसिबल ओके सो नो अदर डाउट सो वी कैन स्टॉप द लेक्चर टू बी बिकॉज दिस दैट इज अ न्यू टॉपिक आई कैन स्टार्ट इट नाउ